I wanted to do one more thing um, to show you some sources. Now, I did put in my video some sources for you to read, but I'm kind of, I want to show you what they are, too, because you might just read the sources and say, oh, well, you know, what are they? I really do think that this book right here is the thing that shocked me. Do you, do you see what this one is? It's Shock and Surprise Beyond the Rapture read it. I mean, it's a good one. And uh, he's, Gary has gone, Gary and Nellie both have gone to be with the Lord. And, um, but he, he was a precious man and he taught us a lot. And he would talk to me for hours on the phone just to, when I had questions. So this, this was a great man right here. And he also has another one called the Matthew Mysteries. And that's a good one too. Now, I did put as a source um, Lewis Shuttle Publishing. Now, he has many books on the kingdom, and you can call him, but one of the books I think is great that a lot of these um, men knew and learned from is an, is an, old, an older man died uh, many years ago, and his name is A. Edwin Wilson. I never knew him, but this is an excellent book. Excellent book right here. I would highly recommend this one. Do you see what it is? Okay. Now, uh, another one I put is uh, James Hollinsworth. His books are excellent. I don't know him personally, but I've read his books and um, he's got three of them, and they're, they're very good. They're very easy to read, and um, it's the end of the pilgrimage. It's um, keys to inheriting the kingdom. We certainly need that, don't we? And Christ Magnified. Those are the three. You can get those on Amazon. Now, um, Another one of my friends and uh, teachers is Marty Cauley. And Marty is, um, has got some books that I have read that I have learned a lot from him. Now, believe it or not, the, here, here, this one's called The Outer Darkness. <laughs> I mean, there are two of them here. They're like phone books. They're like phone book. They're like New York phone books. But let me tell you something. We may not have enough time in this life to, to read these, but um, believe it or not, I read them. And uh, boy, did I learn some stuff from, from there. Now, I'm going to tell you something, too. Your teacher is the Holy Spirit. He is your teacher. And as you read any of these books, you check out the scripture and don't believe what I say or any of these people say. You let the Holy Spirit teach you because when you read these or listen to me, you have to go check it out. You have to. You have to be Bereans. That's what the Bereans did. They would hear something and they would go check it out to see if it was true. That's your job. That's what you need to do. Um, Marty Colley's got some other books that are um, not quite as big, and his website is down there too. Um, now, and also Arlen Chipwood, his site is called The Lamp Broadcast, and um, Arlen has many many books on all of these subjects like the bride the um the salvation of the soul um i mean it, they could just go on and on and on and so there are plenty of sources here for you to read you don't have to just listen to me. And I hope that after you listen to mine, that you will go read some of these because this is, has to be established in your spirit. These scriptures and there are other scriptures that that I f had forgotten to, to bring up, like the one when Jesus said... Um, 
the being least in the kingdom and greatest in the kingdom. What in the world is that about? There's somebody that's going to be least in the kingdom? Well, yeah, and we know that. So there's just so many scriptures. You know, another one was the that I meant to add is the 10 virgins that people mess up six ways to Sunday, and um, those virgins are saved. There are five of them that are wise, and there are five of them that are foolish. Remember what I said about wise, and we don't want to be foolish, do we? No, we don't. Jesus wants a mature, wise bride. Yes, he does, to rule and reign with him. I think that's all of the sources. And of course, you know, here are my two books right here that I said, the uh, children's books, that I said I would send to you if you get through uh, Lesson 12. I do have another one, too, I'll send you that I wrote. Um, it's a little bitty thing called Rightly Dividing the Word. And it just kind of, after I learned all this, actually, I wrote this little bitty book right here just so I would remember it. But then I put it in a little book, and um, so I'll send you that too. So anyway, that's it.